Hello and welcome back. My name is Arnold Faller and in this little tutorial we're going to create an animated barrel moving robot together. Topics for this example include linking objects, creating keyframe animation using auto key, animating the link constraint control and most importantly planning a slightly more complex animation. Um, over here um, let me show you a uh, what we are, what the end result could look like. Here's a little, little preview. So um, we got a rope, uh, we got a, a barrel miraculously, miraculously coming in from the left side, and then the robot arm will grab it, put it over on the other conveyor belt, and then it would move out. So that would continue and go on with more barrels like this. So let me start from the very beginning by opening a new file. Yes, it's an old file, and no, we don't want to convert anything. So here it is, and of course, nothing animated. We're looking through a camera uh, right there. Let me uh, start hiding a few things that we don't need right now, and let's look at the scene from the top. We're also going to hide... Oh, um, if you, if you want to hide lights and cameras, there's also a shortcut that's Shift-C uh, for cameras with Shift-C, you can hide cameras and with shift L you can hide lights. Of course you can also select them and hide them or get on the layer and turn it off. So um, we are having a robot and don't ask me where I got this robot from. I had it for I don't know like 15 uh, or maybe almost 20 years. Um, the uh, from some kind of tutorial or some demo from Autodesk, I guess. Um, and we have a barrel and we have those uh, conveyor belts that are not running, they just uh, stand still. And um, we're gonna start with um, um, the linking for the robot and the planning for the animation. Uh, the animation will be in the, uh, right now we have 500 frames time to do something that should be enough to get two or three barrels done. Uh, the first barrel will take 50 frames to move in. So we're going to have a first, first barrel to go in from uh, 0 to 50, then from 50 to 150. I'm going to put it over on the second belt, and from 150 uh, to 200 it will move out. And then it can continue to do the same thing again. But uh, let me start with... Um, we, we are planning to, the barrel itself will never be animated. So when the barrel is moving, it is linked to something. When it's moving on the conveyor belt, it's linked to a dummy, which I'm going to create. When it's uh, moved from one belt to the other, it's linked to parts of the, of the, of the robot arm. And then on the other hand, it's, uh, it's moved, uh, it's uh, linked again to a dummy that brings it back out. So now when I'm looking from the top, I'm going to create create helpers. I'm going to create the dummy. doesn't matter where it is. I'm just placing it conveniently next to the robot. And later on, we also need another one. So I'm going to also put a dummy over here. So uh, let's get the barrel and link it. Here, select and link. Click and hold it and drop it onto the onto the dummy. So from now on it's linked to the dummy. This is a link that I'm going to delete or unlink later on because later on I'm going to look use a link constraint to link it onto it. But for right now this is uh, enough to link it here. Now select the dummy and uh, I'm going to animate it. The first step in 50 frames. So I hit auto key, move forward to frame 50 and uh, move my dummy till the point where the barrel will be grabbed by the robot. Okay, out to key off. That's it. So we just need the first 50 frames uh, to get started with. Now let's take a look at the robot. So the robot is made out of different elements. They all re are responsive. Whenever we animate the robot arm, we only use rotation. So we wanna, when we move it, we either rotate the bottom plate or we, we rotate one of those objects which are called pivot here. And all the other objects like this one or this one or this or this, they are not necessary for the animation because we will never uh, animate them. We only animate the parts here 
for the for height and rotation and for grabbing the fingers and we're going to rotate those pivot points so let's start from the tip of our robot from the fingers and link it backwards so this is the child of all the others so we're going to create a chain of links backwards all the way to the ground plane so i'm going to select my two fingers use select and link and drag it onto the next element which is for rotation then i select the next element which is for up and down and then this one for left and right then i'm going to take this one and link it to the first pivot the first pivot or it's the third pivot actually to the second pivot a second pivot to the first pivot and the first pivot to the ground uh, cylinder now though these elements which i will never animate uh, they will just be linked so that they that they join the rotation so i'm going to select this one and link it down to the ground plane this one this arm will be linked to this pivot this arm to the second pivot and this arm to the first pivot uh, so let me select one two three four elements uh, I do a right click and use a free selection so the, they are now gray and I will never ever need to touch them but let me check if my linking worked so now if I select my ground plane which is responsible of course for the rotation now I use rotation whenever you animate rotation in a robot you should use the rotate tool of course and you should set the rotation to local because um, Imagine the, the one of the axes has a has a different rotation angle from an animation before. Then you will always want to rotate it in in its uh, in its local axis and not in the world axis. I'll show you later on what it um, what it means. So make sure it's local and also you set it to a pivot point center so that if I set, if I animate two objects at the same time and I'll show you with those fingers if i rotate them now see they are rotated each around its own pivot point so when i rotate them they will do this if i have um, the uh, what is it called common shared uh, use selection center if i do this then they rotate it rotate like this and it's obviously not looking correctly so make sure it's set to the individual pivot points good so let's check if the, if the linking works if i select the bottom plane and i rotate everything should follow of course if i now create uh, select one of those links all the others should as well follow i am always clicking escape so i'm not gonna mess up my rotation angles also i am using the angle snap tool no the angle snap toggle it's turned on it means all the rotations are going in five degree steps and that helps me for sometimes to precisely rotate something 5 10 15 degrees and so on okay we are ready let's look from the uh, let's look at some a little theory when after 50 frames my barrel will be picked up and the arm it should look like as if the uh, the barrel moves into the arm so we're not grabbing from the side we're trying to grab it from the front so let's um let's start the animation for the for the for the uh, robot arm there's only one thing you have to be careful um when you set keyframes for certain things at the beginning it's quite simple because auto key will make sure the first um key of every change in position or rotation and so on will be at frame zero but later we have to make sure that we always set a key at the right time so let's get started at frame 50 the pickup will start so i'm going to set frame 50 i'm going to hit auto key and now i'm going to rotate my uh, robot so that it grabs the the barrel therefore i'm always using five degree steps so one two I don't, i'm not counting it but see for example in this case fifth uh, 25 degrees okay let's just make sure the arm is a little bit longer so this one goes forward goes backward and what we want to do is of course we want the arm to extend a little bit that could take a while oh good no perfect perfect height so i'm going to grab it right here in the middle uh the arm and now the rotation uh if i rotate it, oh no before i rotate it let me rotate my arm this way b 
because I said I want to grab it like as if it moves into the barrel. So there it is. If the, the, this rotation that I just did right now might not be working in five degree steps, so uh, I might want to turn off the uh, the angle snap and do uh, do it to less than five degrees. But let's look from the top. That's best. Uh, almost perfect. We had to get a little bit close, I guess. Or we're grabbing it in the front with those rubber things. Then it's good. So um, let's open. Let's get the five degree snaps off and rotate it so that the, oops, that's wrong, sorry, wrong angle. Yeah, this way. Uh, there it is. And maybe a little bit backwards. So this is the rotation guy. Yes, and now back in. So, oh, no, that's good. So let's not quite in the center yet. Okay, I'm have to anyway open my arm, my fingers also. Good, that's it. Let's have a look at the animation so far. And I'm going to start with a very simple way to animate it. And later on, we can add some details, like that the arms are uh, gra uh, grabbing, uh, that the arms are opening and closing and so on. So here it is at frame 50, the pickup will work. So if to, to pick it up precisely, I also have to uh, animate my fingers a little bit. So I'm going to take my fingers and make sure they really touch the, the barrel. Good. And this one. Yes. So that is frame 50, and now I'm going 10 frames backwards to frame 40 and open up my fingers more because that's the way, yes. And I'm also going back all the way to the beginning where I, uh, where I re uh, again close my finger, close my uh, fingers, yes, so like this. I should have done it uh, symmetrical. Good, that's it. So now I have a key at the beginning, just looking at the fingers, close, then it will, oh, oh, standard mistake. I'm so sorry. I did not press auto key. Auto key on 40. That is something that should not happen. Sorry about that. So at this, at frame 40, they are all the way open. And at frame 50, they close till they hit the. So, better. Now, auto key. I'm going to leave it on. Good. So, that is what, what was a ni nice example of auto key always need to be turned on and off. So, here's the last 10 frames grabbing the barrel. Good. Now, Let's now it's time for um, linking the barrel not anymore not to the dummy anymore with a regular link because the regular link cannot be animated. But now we're going to take a, a link constraint which we can set to the first dummy, then to the arm, and then to the second dummy. We're going to use the this object here. It's called 360 head pivot. So we're going to link it to this head, not to the fingers because they will open. It. We're going to link it to this. So let's get back to the beginning of our animation. Select the barrel. Right now it's still linked to the dummy. I'm going to break the link by hitting unlink selection. And now select my barrel and use the, I'm um, at frame zero now, animation constraints, link constraint, and the rubber band goes on to the first 
dummy. So from frame zero on, it's linked to the dummy. Then I go forward, forward, forward till frame 50, because at frame 50, I'm going to add another link, link to 360 uh, head pivot. Then I'm going forward. It's not animated yet. Uh, from 50 to 150 is the moving over from one side to the other. So at frame 150, I'm going to add another link to this dummy here. Okay, that's enough. So turn off add link. Now we are ready to animate our robot arm so that it puts the uh, puts the barrel to the other side. The first thing is we're going to do the at the beginning, we already have it, and the end. And then we can add something in the middle to make it look a little bit more natural or to make the look the barrel heavy and so on and so on. So let's do it, but first let's do it uh, really clean and just straight over to the other side because it's important that the barrel really stands on the conveyor belt and not, uh, uh, not arriving, arriving slightly tilted. Good, so out to key on now. What we need to do is uh, go 250, so, and define the end position of the animation. The barrel now should follow if I, if I, because it's now linked to the, um, to the head. So, oh, I'm not too much. Rotate it this way, then take this piece here, rotate it this way. Too much, almost. and try to get it centered onto the conveyor belt. Yes, that's it. That was quick. Now, the problem is that all the fingers and everything else uh, also should have a keyframe here at this point. And I know there's different ways to do it. What I'm doing is when I'm in the angle snap tool, I simply select my objects. And you know, a keyframe is only recorded when you uh, change something and what I'm going to do is I select those and I'm going to change something by opening and closing it five degrees so it did not uh, change actually but it recorded a keyframe also for this head and all the other things so I'm going to select them all at the same time just once and that just recorded a keyframe there and now that means when I continue from here, it will uh, it will keep the uh, will keep the keyframe. I'm going to do the same thing for this piece here. Just five degrees back and forth, or you could also use, of course, the manual key setting. But now I'm perfectly standing on the conveyor belt, and I have keyframes recorded for all elements. Now uh, I need to open my uh, clause that is done in 10 frames because also use 10 frames to close it so from 150 going to 160 and select those two claws and open them make sure you open them wide enough because the barrel is moving out okay so here is the last piece and now to get my uh, barrel out of the out of the of, of a move on the conveyor belt, I have to animate my uh, dummy. Here's my dummy, uh, and it starts at 150 to move, and it will take 50 frames, so till 200, because the other direction also was 50 frames. So at frame 200, I am recording uh, its outer position. So that is strange. Why is it uh, moving so slowly and not linked to the dummy? Because it, uh, the, when I move the, the dummy, it automatically creates its start key at zero. But actually, it's not at zero. It's at 150. So I have to take when I select the dummy and I uh, get its first key here that has been automatically created. I just move it to 150, and now it's now it's moving perfectly with the dummy okay it should be enough because the room ends somewhere here so it's on the safe side over there okay so i'm, I'm going to show you uh, one more thing uh, no, maybe two more things first how, how can i make the animation look a little bit more um, natural and that is 
uh, when the barrel is right in the middle of the animation that is actually on frame 100, what I'm doing is I'm recording a couple of different frames to make the movement a little bit more not so linear, a little bit more up and down and so on. So I'm going to auto key is still on. I'm going to, uh, for example, rotate my whole robo robot arm back a little. Maybe also take this rotation, which I did not rotate at all before. That is bad. Okay, I made a mistake at 50. Should have done that. No, our little trick here, because now at 100, actually not at, yeah, at 50, and now at 100, I can do this. You could even do things like, um, uh, see, now it looks a little bit more natural. You could even do things like, um, uh, you know, rotate the barrel or something like this. Let's quickly try it. I could grab uh, this piece here, for example, and rotate the pearl. But keep in mind, uh, that is not good because I linked the the barrel to this object and uh, that is will create a weird movement. So let's don't do that. Select the and get rid of it, the key. Okay, so here it is, and don't, don't. You can also, we can add something else. Let's move, for example, at frame, let me go back to frame 50. This one, one, two, frame 100. So, like this. Oh, looks like I dropped it. No, I didn't. Good. So that is the first thing. I just added something in between to make the movement a little bit more interesting. And chuk, chuk. and the next thing is, how can I get a second barrel to do the same thing? Uh, let me quickly turn out the key off. So uh, when I uh, first of all, I need a second barrel. Let me get all the way to the very beginning. And now I'm going to copy my uh, my barrel and copy, also copying my dummies. So I'm going to select the barrel, this dummy, and this dummy, and I'm going to hit Edit Clone. Uh, the barrel is called barrel 1, the copy is barrel 2, the dummy 1 and 2, and now we have 3 and 4. Okay, so now I have barrel 2, which is actually linked to dummy 3 and dummy 4. That's perfect. The only thing is now I have to change the animation of, of all the linking to a different time. So um, right now, dummy four, uh, uh, dummy uh, three is the first one. So let's select it. Here is dummy three. Not from zero to 50, but when will we, when will we be back? We dropped off the barrel. We dropped off the barrel at, at 150 and 150. Then maybe it takes 100 backs. That's 200. At 250, I could grab another one. At 250, so take the dummy number three and make sure it, it, is, it arrives at 250. So right now it goes from zero to 50. So I'm going to take those two keys and move them from 200 to 250. Uh, on the bottom left side, you can see how far you moved it. Okay, for, now it's good. The dummy is from 200 to 250. The second one, which right now goes from 150 to 200. Now I have to think a little bit about it. So from 250, the other one was 250. Uh, 350, so I have to move it from 150 to 350. Select it, hold the shift, uh, sorry, not hold the shift key. Make sure I have the right one. Yes, four, move it to 350. 350, okay, good. Now it starts later. See, the barrel stays there. And now, only thing is from barrel two, when I select it, 
the linking uh, the, the, the linking changes. So at the beginning, it's linked to dummy number three. When is the linking changing to the head of the arm? At 250. So I'm going to select this here and change it to 250. And now the dummy four is 350. Okay, so I just moved 350. I just moved all the animations forward. Let, let's try it. So it goes there, and then, uh, okay, doesn't make a lot of sense because the, the robot arm is not moving. Let's get the animations for the robot arm. And that is also almost as simple. I select all the elements of my robot arm, all the things, doesn't matter if they have animations or not, just make it simpler, select them all. And down here you can see their keys. Of course it starts at zero and it ends at when it's dropped off at 160, when the claws are opened. So uh, I don't need the start position. I only need the first grabbing, which is at from 40 to 50. That is the closing of the, of the claws. And this key, and all the way till opening the claws again. So from 40 to 160. And those keys, I'm just moving with holding the shift key um, till... Uh, 240. 240. There it is. See? Now it goes to the first one, rule, tops it over, then goes back, grabs the new one, and does the same thing again. Okay? If you now want to place a different um, position in the, uh, in the, so from, from top dropping off the first one, to the second one, for example, you could get the initial state here. So you select your initial state animation and place it right in the middle, that is at 200. So select the first animation state, place it to 200. And now they go back to the, so they drop it off, go back to, st to sleeping and grab the new one. Then it's simple. If you once have established all the right animations, then you can simply copy paste them. So it takes a while till you do the first few things like the grabbing, claws closing and so on. Then you can add all kinds of things in between. Let's get, um, let's unhide everything and get into the camera perspective. Here it is. And here's our little animation. Let's see if we made, made any mistakes, but I think it looks fine. So we're grabbing it. That's pretty slow actually, almost too high and dropping off. You can see that the dummy is in the foreground and here's the second one and also the second dummy. Here it is. Okay, that is our little animation. Um, if I wouldn't have made the mistake of keeping uh, auto key off, um, that would be quite fast. Okay, I hope that uh, kind of explained a little bit uh, how to create the chain of links for the robot, how to use the uh, link constraint on an object and um, maybe you need one more time to take a look at the at the at the process when we cloned barrel and helpers and then moved both the animation for the helpers and for the barrel uh, maybe that was a little too fast but I think the rest was quite clear I hope you liked it um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye